Okay, so let's look on a top bar, just overall what we have it. And some of these properties you can modify it, but I'm going with the default what we have. So you'll notice top bar, again, all these properties you can access like new, you press Control N or access from drop down menu, or you can fast access from your toolbar. First, we have it new, which we can go click and create new file. We can next open existing files. We can save with the left button or save as with the right button of mouse clicking. And many times when you rule with your tooltip, you notice it's pop up and explain. Next, we have it create snapshot. And this is kind of very useful when you have it on multiple stages of your project and you want to revert before maybe you do experimental. So the snapshots, we'll use them in some projects and you'll get more familiar with them as we're going. But again, they can access from here or from your file and, for example, snapshot creating this way. So the next we'll have it cut. We have it copy, paste. And you'll notice paste currently because it's nothing was copy is gray out. So some options which is not yet accessible, they are gray out, same like redo. The next we have a duplicate or a scanned objects. And this is um, simple ways to create a multiple object and spread around. It is not an ecosystem, which is more advanced um, versions of the scattering. It's kind of um, not even come closer like on steroids, but it is more primitive and a faster way to create some interesting effects with scatterings. Okay, we have it redo undo, we have it record macro or play macro tutorials. So in some cases, it's a simple record your movements, your clicking, what you click, what your position, so you can record it and place it. Sometimes it's useful if you have it some preset, for example, very fast you want to create um, some render options, you can record here and use it as a macro. Next, we have load editor or um, atmosphere editor. So again, left and right click. And you notice right here we have a dot which tells us it's multiple actions. We have it also edit object and it's currently on selected object. So if no object selected, you can notice it's gray out. As soon we select the camera, which is also object, so we can access and edit camera. If we have it cube, it's primitive. Some of them cannot be accessed because nothing to edit there. But if we have it a little bit more complex, then we can access to this property. Like for example, let's have it more polygon mesh on the rock. So now it's enabled. Next, we have a paint um, ecosystem or paint on selected object. So for example, if I want to paint just on the rocks, I will right click. But if I want paint all over, it will be left click with mouse. And again, I'm not going on this right now because it will be in current tutorials and we need to look a little bit more in depth than just. So we all know it's easy to access from here. We also have it materials, show material summary for this. If you have it multiple materials or other things, okay, let's hide. We have it short timeline and animation wizard and we kind of already look on this. Then next you'll have it align vertically or a flip and for some of these options, you need to select more than one tool. For example, if you notice we select two objects, now our alignment tool is enabled. So if you have it only one, it will be disabled. Flip vertical, we have it also selected by frame color, wireframes, or we can do by the select by object type or material. So by default, we'll just leave it as a wireframe. Okay. So the next, we have it frame selected areas. So we can actually go and just select specific area in this area. We can zoom in and out. You also, many times, you if you have a wheel mouse or a scroll, it will work as well as a zoom. Okay. We'll have it also toggle from current view. Same things you can access by double time clicking or by selecting maximize and restore from menu. Okay, next we have it our browse previous render or save the color picture that we're currently using. Okay. We have it click and select a render area. So for example, if you have a very complex area, but I want just render only one piece to preview how it's look. So I can click select this specific area and only notice it's will render just only these small portions. 
it's very helpful when you have a complex scenery but you want to be sure just one like plant or something work very well so often you will use it the, also you can toggle enable disable previously so if you enable you will need to go inside right click and disable from this option there also you have a new menu which pop up it's a non photorealistic render and toggle this and how i say this is very um interesting system and it's very complex so it's required their own section of tutorials to go over but again we can access directly from toolbar as well as a render image or we can access the render options of the image as well so for example let's click ok right here we can access this render properties Okay, again all this top menu can be modified and we just look on some of these properties very fast um, which is come default top navigation bar 